What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. So in this one, we're going to be going over one of the largest margin calls of the year and how this whole situation is only about to get worse. We're going to be going over some of the charts as well in all of the key data that you guys need to know going into the rest of this week. So again, guys, if you do enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you guys in these videos here, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot getting this information out to as many people who actually want to learn. And if you guys do want to see more videos like like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video just like this so now let's get right into some of these charts here that i know a lot of you guys are very very interested in so the first one we're going to be talking about the spy on the four hour right here so we recently had a little bit of a relief rally off of these lows we had cpi data come out here and then we got knocked right back down now today we did get the producer price index data which was pretty neutral overall um and that is going to be the fed's uh basically preferred metric of inflation inflation and something to kind of keep in mind here as well is when we come over to this fed watch tool earlier this morning before the ppi data came out we saw about a 34 percent chance of a 100 basis point rate hike coming in the september fed meeting and that has recently fallen to about 28 percent what i want you guys to be very careful of is kind of feeding into a lot of what is being said potentially coming up in the next couple of weeks um or basically going into next week with the Fed meeting of this 100 basis point rate hike. If this 100 basis point rate hike gets priced in by the market and the Fed decides hey, we're actually going to do a 75, they could essentially sandbag the entire market, come in with a rate hike a little bit lower than expected and provide a little bit of a relief rally right before midterm. So be very, very careful of that. A couple of the levels that we want to watch out here on the spire, these previous lows right around that 390 and that 388. If we do slip below there, remember, we could easily see a cascading wave of selling. And again, I do want to give a quick shout out to a couple of our members uh, in our private group, absolutely killing it every single day. Again, guys, this is the best place to come and learn how to trade with all of these tools, Pythagoras, Invictus, the one-on-one -on -one training sessions, all the live streams, all the curriculum videos, all of the alerts are our community is absolutely awesome, but we got 8 Mile with a 12.23% gain today. Um, we got me coming over here with a couple of solid gains, which we are going to talk about in a second. Uh, Odin killing it here. Uh, Max is killing it. We have a lot of people having a lot of success. Now, again, guys, if you do want to join, make sure you guys check out that link down below. But looking at natural gas here is something that I've been talking about for a while in all the live streams that I've been doing. And now we see this giant day today of about 7.8% at the current time that I'm recording this video here, reaching highs all the way up to about $32 a share. Now, with all of the energy crisis news stories that are coming out uh, between Russia and Europe and this whole Russia and Ukraine situation, well, we know that a lot of these energy or energy commodities, gas, oil, have sold off a pretty significant amount and with what we're going to talk about they easily could come back to the upside here and this provided a great opportunity for natural gas to start to run to the upside but it's very possible that this move is not done we have not seen this four hour cross back to the upside yet we do have a couple of key resistance levels here at around 3250 we've got about 3350 coming up on here and then the more recent high about 3450 so this stock does have some more room to run here but again it's gone on a pretty significant run this week it does need a a little bit of a pullback in order to continue this move back to the upside and again one of your favorite stocks over here tesla this four hour cross to the upside is actually looking good and holding up a lot better than the overall market here key resistance right around 308 now I do want to briefly talk about this situation going on with United States oil and global oil and this giant margin call situation that is only going to get worse. When we look at this right here, we have to understand what the SPR is. So the SPR is the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Now, essentially what this is, is, well, the United States is going to draw out oil and sometimes buy oil to put back in our reserves. Now, when we look at what recently happened, let's see over here. U.S. emergency oil reserves tumbled to the lowest since 1984, meaning that, well, we're going to have to start producing more oil in order to meet all of the demand that is out there in the market right now. And it, it is going to start to come as we get into these winter months. Now, when we come back over here, this is the news today that a lot of people are talking about and kind of gets us into this margin call situation. So oil prices could find a floor near $80 per barrel as Biden administration considers refilling the strategic patrol. Petroleum Reserve. 
Such a move could put a floor under oil prices following their three-month decline of about 30%. Now, when we think about the United States going out and refilling the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, the SPR, at about $80 per barrel, well, that's going to create a little bit more demand here. Now, if you also have a little bit of a price floor in this United States market area, then you also have OPEC coming out and decreasing output. Well, this provides a scenario in which oil prices could continuously and significantly increase. Now, we know that there's this situation going on right now with Russia in Ukraine and Russia in Europe and this whole energy crisis going into the end of the year once we get into those colder months. Now, when we come over and see exactly what is going on here, well, how European utilities can survive $1 trillion in margin calls. Remember, those big European companies are essentially hedging the price of oil um, even though they're already benefiting from the increases in oil prices. So right here, European energy utilities might be facing a margin call of a trillion euros, according to a business consultancy. The companies, however, are in a strong enough position to survive the call as long as governments lend a hand in the form of state-backed loans. They're essentially giving them a new loan to bail them out of another loan. That doesn't seem like it's going to end very well. But what you have to think about here is that this news of this margin call has come out relatively recently when oil prices have been significantly decreasing. Well, we all know that as we get into these colder months, a lot of demand is going to come into the oil market to power people's houses for electricity to heat their homes. Um, and with that being said, we can easily see oil prices continue back to the upside in a pretty significant way. Well, then that means that these margin calls that we're seeing here are about to get a whole lot bigger if these European energy companies can't get this situation under control. Now, it's possible that we do see a situation in which some of these smaller energy companies are unable to meet these calls due to the amount of business that they are doing um, in the oil market right now, and they could go under. Now, that would be a bad thing for the overall oil industry and honestly, the overall economy as well. So that is going to be something that we have to keep a lookout for too. Now, furthering this point about oil prices, remember the CPI data that came out yesterday, we know that oil and gas prices have been significantly decreasing. but that wasn't really reflected in any of the inflation data that we actually saw. So looking at the situation here with Biden coming out with the SPR and OPEC and all of the situation going on with Europe and Russia, well, things are about to get very, very interesting. And the Fed is really going to need to figure out what they need to do in order to get inflation under control. Uh, because as we're seeing, oil is really not going to help anybody out at this time. So guys, that is mainly going to wrap up this update here on what's going on with the overall market in this margin call situation that we have going on in Europe, which could easily get a lot worse. If you guys did enjoy the information and analysis that I provided for you guys in this video here, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So guys, I hope you're having a great evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.